party's point of view. Question number 10, Todd McClay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Associate Minister of Conservation, Order. what benefits will the Game Animal Council bill bring for recreational hunters? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr. Speaker, the Game Animal Council bill will bring two main benefits for recreational hunters. Firstly, the establishment of the Council will improve the management of game animals, namely deer, tar, chamois and wild pigs, and will include improvements in hunting opportunities and the quality of the game trophy resource. And the second main benefit will be to provide an independent hunting-focused advice stream to the Minister of Conservation on issues that affect that sector. Todd McClay. Supplementary. What feedback has he seen regarding the introduction and first reading of the Game Animal Council Bill? Mr. The Honourable Speaker. Peter Dunn. The feedback has been extremely positive, including support from the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, the Game and Forest Federation, the Fjord and Wapiti Foundation, the Game Council of New South Wales, hunting guides, the hunting media, many non-affiliated hunters and even non-sector interests such as Fish and Game New Zealand, people in the recreational fishing sector as well. In fact, Mr Speaker, many people have told me that this council is the thing they've been waiting 60 years to see established. Kevin Haig. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can the Minister confirm that all of the advice received from the Department of Conservation has been that the proposed Game Animal Council is likely to be harmful to conservation and to our native plants and animals? The Mr Honourable Speaker, no, I cannot confirm that, but what I can tell the member is that the bill was developed out of a long period of consultation that began during the term of the previous Labour government that actually had over 4,000 public submissions uh, presented to the Game Animal Panel, and the result of that was the, the, world of, the result of that was that panel's recommendation that a big game hunting council be established, which is given effect in this legislation. Todd McClay. Thank you, supplementary. I'm, in, I'm interested to know what is the background to the Game Animal Council bill, and how did it reach this stage? Uh, uh, Peter Mr. Speaker, this this bill this bill is the culmination of work that began as part of United Futures 2005 confidence and supply agreement with the Labour-led government to develop a national pest management strategy. That saw the establishment of a game animal panel chaired by the Honourable Margaret Austin, 4,000 submissions to it. Its recommendation was that a big game hunting council be established. During the last term of Parliament under the current government, we've been able to bring that to the point where the bill was introduced last week. So, Mr Speaker, widespread support on both sides of the House for this development. Question number 11, the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker.